Donald Trump's lawyers have never argued in court that he declassified these documents. The former president himself did say that in an interview with Hugh Hewitt, saying he had this blanket declassification. They have not argued that in court, where if it were true, we would think that would be a pretty powerful argument to make to a judge about this search warrant. Something else the former president said in that interview uh, has a lot of people, um, on the, let's gives unease. Listen. If it happened, I think you'd have problems in this country, the likes of which perhaps we've never seen before. I don't think the people of the United States would stand for it. What kind of problems, Mr. President? I think they'd have big problems, big problems. I just don't think they'd stand for it. They will not. They will not sit still and stand for this ultimate of hoaxes. Uh, the correct answer is me and my legal team would fight it in court and prove my innocence. As right. opposed, he raises the specter and he would say he's not saying any such thing. But we all live through January 6th. We understand how Trump supporters take cues uh, from the former president. How does the Justice Department deal with that, knowing, knowing that he is going to stir no, this up? No, I mean, up? look, it, it, uh, you cannot ignore uh, uh, something like that because it is, it is a threat. I mean, that, let's be clear, that is a threat. And you already see that in these documents, they're, 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 they're hiding the names, they're shielding the names of some of the lawyers and some of the agents that are working on this case because of the threats that they, they're receiving from the former president's supporters. That's not normal. Former President Trump, just mm -hmm. yesterday when he was on Hugh Hewitt's show and he was asked, you know, what would happen if you were indicted? Here's his response. If it happened, I think you'd have problems in this country, the likes of which perhaps we've never seen before. I don't think the people of the United States would stand for it. What kind of problems, Mr. President? I think they'd have big problems, big problems. Sounds a little bit like what we were hearing from him before January 6th. Well, what Senator Lindsey Graham said was even worse when he talked about possible riots in the streets. This independent review by the judiciary hopefully will bring around public opinion. That's what we need. But uh, ultimately, the attorney general will not be influenced by those type of threats. And we all ought to distance ourselves from threats. It's not going to make any difference. So you actually see those as, as threats? Uh, well, Lindsey Graham said you're going to see rioting in the streets if there's a charge brought. Uh, what about what we just heard from the former president? It, there are words which people who are inclined to be dangerous will interpret as threats. I don't know what was in the former president's mind. Final thought? It's the same issue that we had on January 6th. He was inciting those people, and that's exactly what he's doing now. He is preparing his base to form an attack if he were to be arrested. So here we go again. Former President Trump was on a radio show this week, and he basically said that if he's indicted, there are all sorts of investigations, as you know, if he's indicted, he thinks that it will uh, cause problems like we've never seen in this country. And of course, after January 6th, it's, that's a believable statement. Do you think that the DOJ is using that as part of their calculus? Uh, no. Um, Donald Trump uh, will make whatever threats he makes. And look, he has a very allegiant, obedient core uh, that takes orders from him, uh, whether it's the Proud Boys or the Oath Keepers or just mom and pop MAGA supporters from, uh, from the middle of the country. Uh, and there is no question that Donald Trump's threats uh, are carried out by his supporters. That's one of the strategies. Uh, one of the things that Congressman Adam Kinzinger says in our documentary is that it's, it's, a, it's a feature, not a bug, of, of Trumpism. This idea that he attacks the media or he attacks a judge or he attacks a Republican who has the temerity to stand up and say, hey, don't undermine democracy. And those people are besieged with threats uh, he attacked election workers, et cetera, et cetera, uh, and, and their, their lives can be ruined. Um, Congressman Kinzinger says in the documentary, that's the point of it. It's not just that that happens to happen. That's why Donald Trump does it uh, and why he uses the language he does. He could, as, as it, with the January 6th uh, insurrection, he could stop it at any time. He could say, hey, don't do that. I don't want anybody to make death threats. I don't want anybody to go after this person. No, he picks his targets and he wants them to be afraid of ever standing up to him ever again.